So in part three of my video series on my rooted neck color, I failed to mention, uh oh, there's my cat. Let me go ahead and get her off. Okay, she's fine. I failed to mention the most important aspect of this, and that's e-reading. So I'm just going to quickly show you. I have um, the Barnes Noble software right here and the Kindle app. Now that's not the actual Nook app because I hear you can't install this on the Auto Neuter 2.1 version. Now if you put a, a custom ROM on this thing, you can, but if you're going to go with a stock software, for some reason you can't install the Nook app. Again, that's what I've heard. I've not tested that out. I have tested the Kindle. That app works fine. So let me just show you what reading is like. I did about an hour reading the other day on this and it's fine. Uh, the LCD screen does not bother you. Battery life is more than enough. If you are a hardcore reader, definitely get the Kindle with the or the original Nook with the e-ink. That probably would be a lot more suitable for you. You're not going to want to take this outside, I'm sure, but sitting inside, indoors, light reading for hour, a couple hours, maybe more, you'll be fine. Here's a yes, a Star Trek book. I'm proud to say. And here it is. You can change it. I have a sepia background, but you can change it to dark, gray, white, whatever. It works very well. And if you want to check out the Kindle and look at my cat is back up here. Anyways, let me go to Frankenstein. The Kindle app also works, um, although the page turn is a little laggy. What I like about the Kindle app you can actually make the fonts even smaller and the margin even smaller so you can get a little bit more reading done without page turns you can't really do that in uh, the Nook app I'm sorry this is not the Nook app but the Barnes & Noble software um, let's go ahead and actually try this I'm going to open the Android market I'm going to search for Nook Nook for Android by Barnes & Noble free Gonna see if we can download it. It is downloading. That's what it looks like for future reference. And we're gonna find out truly if this works. Okay, it's almost done downloading. Let me go ahead and pause this briefly. Okay, we are back. I have downloaded the the, the Nook app, and we're gonna see if it works. There it is, right there. I click on it again, and there's your answer. It does not work. That is extremely odd in my opinion, especially because the Kindle works. But hey, if you like the Nook app, and they did do a pretty big update to it recently, apparently it does work if you put Froyo, Gingerbread, or Honeycomb on this thing. So you can go that route. Otherwise, there you go. It's, it's a pretty good e-reader for the, I'd say, light to average um, person who's interested in this a hardcore reader definitely get the Kindle um, I mean you could be fine with this it just depends on many factors but it, it definitely does suffice for most cases again two thumbs up I believe that is four four thumbs in total if you watch the other video